Applications of differentiation. In this video, we are going to continue with tangents and normals. You will find this on page 271 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at this example. A curve is such that, okay, very important, it's already differentiated. That shows dy by dx. And 1, 8 is a point on the curve. The normal to the curve at the point P meets the x-axis at Q and the y-axis at R. Find the coordinates of the midpoint of QR. Okay. Now, because it's already differentiated, if I wanted to find the gradient at the point P, I just substitute the x value and the gradient of that will be 2. Okay, but that is the gradient for the tangent. So if I want to find the gradient of the normal, I'm just going to take the reciprocal and I'm going to different signs. So this is the gradient of the normal. Now just take note and I, I want to show this again. If, if you use this formula which is 100% correct, you don't actually have to do that step. You can just say then, okay, if I substitute, then it's y minus 8 equals negative 1 over 2. And just put, so that m is then the gradient of the tangent. But if you already did this, then in the place of this, you just put that, but I rather want to use that same color. Then you just put that negative a half. Okay. Okay, so, and then what do I substitute also? Don't forget my point. So what is my point? There it is. Okay. So this is X and this is Y. So in the place of Y, I put 8. And in the place of X, I put 1. And then I just simplify that. And that is the equation of the, let's make it yellow, of the normal. Now if I want to see where it, the, this point intersect the x-axis, okay, then I just make the value of y zero, okay? And then I simplify and I get 17 and zero. If I want to see the y-intercept where it cuts the y-axis, I just make the value of x0, the opposite, and then cuts the y-axis at this. And now I have my two points, and now I can just use coordinate geometry. The midpoint, I, I take the x values, I add it up, I divide by 2. I take the y values, I add it up, I divide by 2. And then I get my the midpoint between q and r. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I just want you to do number one. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's look at number one. Again, the equation of a curve is such that, so this is the derivative function, it's already differentiated. Given that the curve passes through the point, find the equation of the normal. Okay, so in this case, I always start with the function. Okay, now if I want, if this is my point, and I want to find the gradient um, at this point, then I'm just going to substitute. So um, I'm going to say when, let's just substitute that in, gradient of the tangent when, okay, when x equals 2 dy by dx, and I substitute 2, And that will be six minus two. That will be um, that will be four. So let's just see. Uh, six minus two. So that's the square root of four, which will be six. Oh, square root of four is two, which will be three. So the okay. So let's end by saying gradient. of the x 
is three. But the normal is perpendicular. So the gradient And now I can just do that, negative 1 over 3, okay? Because it's perpendicular, that m1 times m2 will give me negative 1, okay? And now I'm just going to substitute that because I look for the equation of the normal. So I'm just going to go, go with the green um, equation. And don't forget, if this is my point, this is x1, y1. So I can just basically go and substitute that in. So um, I can say y minus, I like this formula better. Because otherwise, you are going to, again, swap it. So I should show I'm using the perpendicular. So let's just move, I want to move this. I want to clean this. I want to move it up a little bit. And then I say, oh, now my point is not there. I want to show you the point B. Oh, there it is. So it's going to be Y minus, remember that's Y1, 11, equals the perpendicular minus, so it's going to be X minus um, X1, 2, and if I simplify this, and this will be plus 2 over 3, so it's going to be, I'm doing it a little bit long now, and that will give a final answer, let's just move it up, therefore y equals negative a third x plus 11 and 2 over 3 and that is the um, that is the equation of the normal okay and that's how you do it